Hello everyone, happy Friday, happy good Friday. Um, I don't know what you're supposed to do on Good Friday, but we're gonna have a good Friday. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we're actually, it's about five o'clock and we're gonna head out to our friend's house. We're gonna have some Cajun shrimp over there and hang out for a little bit. And that will be today and this weekend. I'm not sure what we're doing. I know on Sunday we have to go to church because it's Easter Sunday, finally. It actually is Easter Sunday. And tomorrow we're going to the movies. We're going to go watch, what's it called? Go Kong? Go Godzilla and Kong. Yeah. No, Godzilla versus Kong, right? Yeah, Godzilla versus Kong. Godzilla versus Kong. And then I think we're also going to try the Carl's Jr. Kong burger. If they have it here. I think there's should have it. Oh. I think not all places had it, right? Well, no, not all places had the Kong version, but they all they both had the Godzilla. <laughs> I don't know. Something I like that. you said it was uh, either or. Or was it two different Kongs? It was two different Kongs. Remember, oh. it's three. There's two burgers and one chicken sandwich. And they were saying, like, not all, not all of them had the two burgers. Oh, so they have one of each. Yeah, something okay. like that. This is, like, tiring. Look how white, much whiter I look than you. I think it's because of the thing. Probably the light too, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that tomorrow. We might do a mukbang um, because we saw they have like a double chicken sandwich. And Francisco's saying that he's never seen a double chicken sandwich. I never have. So he's very excited about trying that, right? Like how, am, yeah. how excited are you? I say like a 10 because I really like the chicken. <laughs> so I mean... Have you tried chicken their... sandwiches? I, I haven't tried the one from Carlos Jr. Never I tried the one from Burger King, Jack in the Box, McDonald's, Popeyes, Chick Fil A. Oh, who else has a chicken sandwich? Wendy's. Yeah, Wendy's. All of them have been good, and I mean it's kind of hard for you to mess up chicken. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've never had it be like a double layer. Yeah, I think it has cheese in between too, right? Yeah. So it's kind we're of like a cheeseburger, but in a sandwich form. Yeah, exactly. So we're probably gonna try that tomorrow. And I don't know if I'll include it in this video or I'll make a separate mukbang video. We'll see. But that will be tomorrow, and of course a few other things that I'm sure we're gonna get into. But just wanted to start the vlog, and hopefully you guys are having a good Friday. Saturday it is 11 a.m. and I have been awake for quite a while but I get an email the H&M was having 20% off site wide and my sister and I got distracted and there went our, our morning shopping online my cart is at about $175 and there's nothing I want to remove so that's that you guys might be seeing an H&M haul coming up uh, actually, that's a good idea. See, there you go. That's there my excuse. Go. That's why I need it. Um, mm -hmm. And then this cute sweatshirt I just picked up last week, I think it was, at Target. Oh, I really, really, really like it. It's so comfy. It is a little, like, cropped. It comes, like, right there, but I don't mind it. I know a lot of people don't like wearing, like, leggings with cropped sweatshirts, but I really don't mm -hmm. mind it as long as my leggings are not see-through. Uh, anyway, so we are actually on our way out, and I'll tell you guys where we're going in just a second, but I wanted to start the vlog by saying good morning, or start today's vlog, and we're having a matcha latte, an iced matcha latte, which I forgot to show you guys how I made, because I'm the best vlogger there is. Maybe I'll show you guys tomorrow, if I do it. Anyways, we gotta get going, and I'll talk to you guys again. We're a little plot of chaga. Gotta get going. We'll talk to you guys right now when we're in the car. All right, so um, we actually need to go to, okay, hold on, let me get my thoughts together. I haven't had breakfast yet. Um, so the reason why we 
are leaving now is because Francisco sold his car. So that's exciting. Um, he sold it on, what was it, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Thursday to this guy that came from Sacramento. He was super interested. Tested the car out. Um, he met him over there. They, you know, talked it out, whatever. And they agreed on a number and he sold it. So that's amazing news. We're so excited. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. We sold it at this place called Wheels on Deals. Wheels on Deals? Wheels and deals. Wheels and deals. Um, so pretty much how that works is you take your car, you pay a fee, and they uh, move it around the lot and they park it. Depending on how much you pay, either they park it in the front or towards the back. So they park it in the front or towards the back, like I already said a million times. Depending on how much you pay. Oh, that's what I was saying. And they post them on like a ton of different sites where um, cars are sold. So it's like a flat fee and they do all that for you. And then if somebody wants to come out and test it, they'll have some of their guys go on the car with them, um, in the car with them. So it's pretty convenient. If you want to sell a car, you don't want to have to deal with it. Of course, you know, you're losing a little bit of money, but for the convenience, we thought it was worth it. We might actually do the same thing with my car once I decide to sell it because I want to eventually get an SUV before we move to Michigan. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get one before we move, but until then this car is perfectly fine but maybe we can do the same thing when um, the time comes because it was actually like i said very convenient and it was there for what three weeks yeah about three yeah about <coughs> three weeks so you pay monthly um and we were afraid that we were gonna have to pay for another month but I actually ended up selling on the third week so that was perfect it was really awesome so now we have to do the smog for the car um and do a few other things and then on monday we're gonna drive it out to sacramento and meet up with a dude um, that spot it at his bank and we're gonna do the whole like financing part of it. So on Monday, uh, we'll go out there. So that might be oh, part of the vlog. I'm not sure if I'm gonna include it in a vlog or not. But yeah, so that's what today's looking like. We're gonna do a few chores and then I wanna go to Costco um, after we're done with all this because they're having a flash sale for the Kerrygold butter. And I think this weekend is the last weekend for the rail saws that I love. So I might have to get um, maybe two, four of those or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> okay. But that's it for now. You going to jump and uh, do a cheer? I would if I could. <laughs> <laughs> about 4 30 and we're late for the theater because <laughs> uh we can never seem to be on time anywhere but anyways um yeah we're gonna head out right now and hopefully it'll be a good movie ended up showering and did a really quick makeup like super quick it's just concealer bronzer i put bronzer on the lid some eyeliner mascara and brows um just because i wanted to look a little put together i ended up putting the same so sure back on that I heard earlier, but I ended up putting it with jeans. And yeah, we're gonna go watch the movie. Hopefully we don't miss anything important. Um, and we'll get back to you guys after to see uh, what we think about it.
Hello everyone, we just got home. It is about 8.50 and we literally drove around the whole city trying to figure out we were gonna eat for dinner and it's so late. Um, but we finally found something. I'm gonna show you guys what it is right now. Um, yeah, why? It's 8.50, I think I said, I don't know. So the movie was so good. I loved it very much. I give it a 10. Uh, what are you guys? Are you guys Team Kong or are you guys Team Godzilla? Because I feel like it's divided. I feel like either you like one or you like the other. I don't know. That's what I feel like. I am Team Kong because Godzilla, I think, is very ugly. And <laughs> I don't like Godzilla. I never get into any other movies. Um, but King Kong. King Kong, right? King Kong. Yeah. Um, I've always loved all the movies that they've made for him and I feel like he's like a gentle giant and he reminds me of Francisco. I feel like <laughs> if Francisco was an animal, he'd be King Kong. <laughs> um, but I don't know, I just love um, King Kong so much, so I'm definitely team King Kong. But the movie was really good, I won't give any of it away, but it was probably one of the best movies I've seen in a long time, right? Would you say that? Oh no. I would say so. Yeah, it had so much action. We watched it in 3D, but it had like a lot of action. The storyline was really, really well made. Um, and then it has a little girl in it. She's so cute. I loved her so much. Uh, but yeah, the movie was really, really good. So I'm really glad that we got to watch it in theaters because of course the experience is different. I think right now you can watch it at HBO max in uh, a home which you know if that's what you want to do that's fine but we wanted to watch it in theaters because like i said the experience is way different and they're making it super safe so nobody can sit in front of you behind you or on either side so um yeah it's pretty safe and then you walk around with your mask and take it off when you're gonna have snacks or a drink or whatever but it was cool it was really cool so i'm glad we got to see it in theaters and yeah let me know if you guys have seen it um in the comments below but yeah, did you like it? The movie, yes. It was good, huh? Yeah, had a lot of action. A lot more action than I thought it was going to have. You're moving too much, I can't keep you in front. <clears throat> what? Had a lot of action. Yeah. Did you think you were going to like it? Me? Mm hmm I don't know, I really haven't followed any one of them. <gasps> so, I wow. mean, for me it was a... Uh... So you were King Nothing, or Team Nothing? King Nothing. <laughs> I like Kong, though. I liked his character in the movie. All right, well, let me show you guys what we're gonna have for dinner. Right, so this is what we're gonna have for dinner. I got the carne asada fries and a bacon wrapped hot dog. So the carne asada fries looks like it has a carne asada, tomatoes, cilantro, sour cream, avocado. And this has the bacon, tomatoes, mayo, and the jalapeno. So I am so excited and I made myself a little michelada. No. A chelada with a mango modelo and the dip I made the other day and it is so ready for it. Oh and I have to guys show you guys the the and I have to show you guys the rings that I just got in the mail. Look how cute these rings are. But right now I'm gonna eat and I'll show you guys these after. Good morning everyone. Happy Sunday, happy Easter Sunday. Uh it is 10 25 and we've been awake for a while now. I actually forgot that I was vlogging. <laughs> So, it, yeah, I made us um, breakfast. I'll show you guys what we're having. And I think today our plan is to go hang out with Francisco's parents. Maybe do a barbecue. We're not sure because since it's Easter Sunday, there might it might be hard to find like, some of the stuff we want to barbecue with. So we'll see. But either way, I think we're hanging out with them, right? Most likely. I think so. Yeah. So, yeah, um, we're going to go to church in a little bit. I actually ran out of time so i don't think i'm gonna have time to get ready which kind of sucks but uh, i didn't make us breakfast so 50 good 50 bad and yeah so we're gonna go to church and we have to also do groceries today i think i don't know if we're gonna have time um not time but i don't know if it's a good idea because i don't know how busy things are gonna be because of easter so we'll see about that but let me show you guys what we're having so i made my sister and i we grew up eating this i don't know how common or uncommon it is to eat this, but for us, it is very common. It is tomatoes that are pretty much like roasted completely, and then you add eggs to it and the salt and whatever seasoning you want. And yeah, that's what you put it on toast. And then Francisco's eating just plain eggs because he doesn't like tomatoes. I made a black, nice, simple coffee, and that's what breakfast is going to be. All right, so ignoring the mess in the back, I am going to wear this really cute... Um, 
don't know what it's called. It's like a waffle maybe. I don't know. I know it has a name, but I don't know the name. But it's from Target. I really, really like it. I haven't gotten to wear it yet, so I'm going to wear it today. It is a little bit like thicker, so it keeps you warm. But it's not going to make me hot. But right now it's like 55 degrees outside, so I figured this would be perfect. I'm wearing my old navy favorite jeans and my gap shoes. My golden and white gap shoes. I want to get these in black as well. But yeah, so that's the outfit of the day it becomes this victory over sin victory over brokenness victory over hopelessness why why is that true because jesus didn't stay dead when they say blockception oh, oh, oh. you want to give us a outfit of the day <laughs> oh outfit of the day oh dear uh -huh. this is from H&M this is thrifted okay. this is gifted by Tutuka Beauty also gifted by Tutuka Beauty from Costco Costco uh -huh. and the shoes not sponsored uh, Puma very old from the children's aisle I believe oh okay so it's child size I believe so nice very very nice This is an interesting um, angle, I think. So we've been home for quite a while. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys what I did, what I bought from Whole Foods, cause it's pretty similar to other times, except for asparagus. I bought asparagus and uh, zucchini and other things, but I um, don't feel like going through all my stuff cause I already put it away. Anywho, I did my nails, like I showed you guys. Look how pretty that color is. So pretty it's looking a little bit more like light blue but it's like a purple kind of color anywho my sister bought these cotton candy uh, grapes and I don't think I've ever had those before you said that your youtubers tried them I right I think so yeah and they say they actually taste like cotton candy you want to be in the taste test so they look like regular green they smell. Oh. They smell. I actually smell like candy. All right. Oh. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I'm not having something healthy. Did they inject sugar in them? Hmm. You want to try these, babe? Um, I don't think I like them. Does it taste like cotton candy? Do? It tastes like candy. But you're supposed to do it in the vlog. Oh. Spit it out. Spit it out. Wow. Lightweight, yeah. Lightweight what? It does taste like a cotton candy. Like cotton candy or beer. candy? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the beer. How it had like a sl uh, slight hint to it. Mm. It doesn't taste like a straight up cotton candy, but it does. It has I don't a know. Bit of sweetness. To me, it just tastes like a candy. Like candy. Like you got the grape and rolled it in stevia and served it. Yeah, I don't know. It's It tastes a lot. It's very grapey. It tastes like, but it does taste, the aftertaste is cotton candy. I would the say. aftertaste, the initial taste I don't like. The initial taste makes me think of a grape that went bad. Like that fermented mm. um, grape, like you know when they're too old and you try to eat them and they're not fresh anymore. Oh, yeah. That's what my initial thing is. And then the aftertaste kind of has like a candy taste. I hmm. think it does taste like cotton candy, but I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know if I like it either. Will I eat them I the rate them a 5 out of 10. I say 6. Hello everyone, happy Monday. We're continuing our vlog through Monday because today we have a hopefully fun day um, planned. Uh, we need to go 
take Francisco's car to be dropped off after he's done selling it. Um, we're meeting the guy that bought it over there at his credit union. Um, and then I think we're going to just spend the rest of the day out there and then come back late at night. We're both still working, so we need to be available in case they need us. But um, since we work from home, it makes it easier to take our office on the go. So that's what we're going to do. And my sister actually took the day off to keep me company since I'm going to have to drive my car by myself behind Francisco and he'll be by himself in his. Um, so it's two hours of nothingness. So that's why she decided just to take the day off and come with me so I wouldn't have to be by myself. For my outfit today, I have this um, Target shirt that I showed in a haul, which if it's up, I'll link it below if it has enough, just keep an eye for it. But I just bought it recently and I really like it because it has like ruffled sleeves. It's really, really pretty. But it's like a normal t-shirt and it has like little poof sleeves. It's really pretty. It's very, very, very comfortable. Like a grayish black kind of color. I read like a washed out color. And I paired it with my Old Navy really, really cute jeans. And then I'm going to wear my little slip-on vans that I love. These are so quirky, but so cute. I love them. All right, so I'm gonna quickly, so I'm gonna quickly show you guys how I make my matcha latte. It's extremely simple, so I keep forgetting to show it, but figured maybe somebody will be interested. So this is the matcha powder right here. I'll link it below in case you guys wanna buy it. So I do very, very little like water on the very bottom, like what you guys see there. And then I add one to two teaspoons, depending on what I feel like having that day. This is two teaspoons right here. And then I filled it with ice, whatever you know, amount of ice you like. I put about six ice cubes. And before I added the ice cubes, I just used my little frother. And that's what I used to mix the matcha on the very bottom. And now I'm going to add the milk and the creamer. And then for the creamer, I like using this one here. Because it's pretty clean as far as like ingredients go. And it's just pretty much cream and sugar. And there we go. That's my matcha drink this one i actually got it from the idea from francesca Bo bowman i think it's her last name i'll link her channel below she pretty much does the exact same thing in the exact same cup which i happen to have and um she shows you a few other options too sometimes in her vlogs but i'll link her channel below in case you guys are interested but it's so good so that's gonna be my current breakfast until we find something to eat Oh, so I'm gonna say skinny house.